Hi there, we are going to continue our chapter 7 for investment management, stock uh, dividends, stock splits and stock rights. So for this video, we will focus on the valuation of the stock rights. Okay, the stock rights. Um, so previously, uh, you have learned on the stock uh, dividend and also stock split. So right now, we are going to uh discuss further on the valuation of the stock right itself okay the stock rights so there's a kind of uh before uh uh we touch uh, the topic further um i need you to understand a few abbreviations of the uh stock rights okay so s over here is denominated to subscription price or exercise price subscription price or exercise price okay uh, uh, you can actually uh, uh, refers to the uh, s or you may follow your textbook uh, by writing as sp it's up to you sp okay so it's just the same one subscription price or exercise price and then n n is the number of rights okay and MPCS over here is the market price. Okay, market price. Or in your textbook, it just stated as MP. Okay, uh, nevertheless, it's just the same. So I'm referring for this one to MPCS is the market price of the common stock. Okay, so um, what do you need to know about rights? Okay, uh, right merupakan offer. Uh, kepada existing shareholders okay, untuk dia exercise price dan membeli stock yang baru uh, pada harga yang tertentu okay. so it is a kind of invitation kepada existing shareholder yang dah sedia ada di dalam syarikat untuk membeli uh, additional uh, new share yang dikeluarkan oleh company Privilege ini diberi kepada uh, existing uh, shareholders uh, supaya mereka dapat membeli share tersebut pada harga yang menarik uh, kerana uh, kenapa? Uh, kerana apabila syarikat ini mengeluarkan share baru uh, biasanya jumlah share akan bertambah dan akan berlaku dilution sedikit uh, kepada proportion share uh, yang telah pun dimiliki oleh pemegang-pemegang saham yang sedia ada iaitu existing shareholders. Maka untuk menambahkan balik proportion share yang mereka miliki beberapa contoh mereka dah ada sam katakanlah satu orang shareholder ni dia ada 1% share dalam syarikat tersebut. Jadi apabila company issues new share Jumlah 1% share yang dia hold mungkin akan berkurangan. Uh, disebabkan itu, company juga offer dia rights. Okay, offer uh, shareholder tersebut dengan rights. Uh, iaitu rights untuk dia membeli new share tadi pada harga yang uh, lebih uh, atraktif. Uh, supaya jumlah share yang mereka miliki nanti akan kekal sama okey walaupun uh, syarikat telah pun menambahkan jumlah share ataupun isu share yang baru okey so this rights is actually uh, stock rights this is a kind of uh, um, right sahaja okey right sahaja iaitu hak untuk dia membeli uh, new share tersebut dan bukanlah obli so you have to remember so i'll write it over here so rights okay but not an obli not an obligation okay not an obligation uh, to the shareholders untuk melaksanakan rights tersebut so sekiranya shareholder pilih untuk abaikan it's okay so it's up to them whether to um exercise the rights or or no okay 
ada beberapa perkara that you need to know uh, uh, for this uh, rights issuing. Okay, uh, before we start our calculation part, uh, so there's a, a few things that you need to know, of course. So let uh, me introduce to you. Okay, so this one I'll uh, uh, um, extract from your textbook. Okay, so um, a few things is that the from the date of the announcement of the rights until the expiration dates of the rights. So rights offer ni dia ada ada expiry date. Okay, ada tempoh dia lah. Tempoh expiry date. Okay, itu ditentukan oleh Uh, pihak syarikat so selepas tarikh uh, expired ni of course uh, right itu tidak lagi boleh digunakan ok right uh, pertama sekali we have announcement date so biasanya this is the uh, refers to the date when the company announce the uh, rights uh, secara official secara rasmi dia umumkan pihak syarikat telah isu rights offer kepada existing shareholders. So, ini kita panggil announcement date. And we also have the ex-right date. Ex-right date adalah date di mana share itu uh, start trading tanpa apa-apa rights. Ah, okay. Biasanya ex-right date ni akan bermula 2 hari sebelum record date berlaku. Okay. Dan extract date ni akan uh, berakhir apabila uh, expired date of the right happens. So extract date ni ataupun extract ni akan berakhir bila bila rights itu uh, telah pun expired. Ya, yeah? okay. Apa itu extract date? So extract date adalah tarikh di mana uh, share itu tidak lagi uh, trading. Uh, bersama dengan rights yang telah di offer pada awalnya okay. so start daripada as right date ni kalau kita perhatikan dekat sini kan dia ada mention share traded without any rights okay. so bila uh, share itu dia traded with the rights over here dekat sini from the e, from the announcement date until the as right date ini kita panggil come right dates. Okay, come right dates. Okay, ataupun rights on. Okay, ataupun rights on. So, di sini, daripada tarikh announcement date sehingga X right date. Okay, share ini kita traded with the rights. Ah, right. So, um, share itu diperdagangkan dengan uh, rights sekali. Right. So, you can... Uh, buy both lah. Uh, boleh beli kedua-duanya. Right? Okay. Boleh, boleh beli rights ini sekiranya uh, berminat untuk melaksanakan rights tersebut pada masa hadapan. Okay. And uh, uh, after the X right date tadi, shares itu tidak lagi diperdagangkan uh, dengan rights. So, no longer rights available over here until the expiration date. So, if you want to buy it, So, dekat sini. Right? So, uh, we also have record date. So, this one record date adalah uh, refers to the date apabila existing shareholders uh, diberikan uh, satu right untuk satu stock yang mereka uh, ada. So, dekat sini. Dia selepas uh, record date ni di mana uh, stockholder tadi akan menerima satu right untuk satu unit yang share yang mereka milih, miliki. Okay, so mereka berhak terima satu uh, satu unit share yang mereka ada, satu rights uh, untuk mereka laksanakan nanti. Okay. And uh, expiration date adalah tarikh di mana uh, investor tadi, uh, tarikh last untuk dia laksanakan untuk uh, Right tersebut. Laksanakan bermakna dia boleh beli share tersebut pada harga yang telah di mention dalam uh, rights tersebut. Okay. So, subscription period bermula bila? Subscription, subscription period ni bermula daripada tarikh record date hingga lah expiration date di sini. Okay. 
daripada tarikh record date sehingga expiration date this is the subscription period okey inilah masanya pemegang uh, rights tadi pemegang share tadi boleh uh, laksanakan rights yang mereka ada boleh gunakan rights yang mereka miliki untuk membeli share-share bar baru dari tarikh record date okey hinggalah expiration date. So di sini mereka boleh start beli new share tadi. Okey, faham ya? So rights ni juga daripada tarikh uh, sebelum record date tadi, mereka boleh jual beli rights tersebut sesama satu sama lain. Okey. Uh, if there's one investor berminat, mereka boleh sell the right to another investors. Okey. Dan a uh, ini adalah perbezaan uh, uh, timeline dia, perbezaan di antara tarikh announcement date, extract date, record date dan juga expiration date. Okay. So, kita akan pergi further kepada calculation uh, part whereby, so kita ada uh, rights on or the come right, right price. Okay, rights on or the come right price. Ini adalah harga di mana uh, stok tadi masih lagi beratas uh, dengan rights. Uh, rights on adalah uh, harga di mana uh, stok yang uh, available tadi uh, uh, di, uh, masih lagi attach dengan rights. Uh, so whatever the stocks being issued by the company, if they announce there is rights uh, coming on, So, ini kita panggil rights on or the come right price. Okay, iaitu yang tadi di sini. Kan? Dari tarikh announcement date sehingga ex right date. So, itu kita, uh, harga yang ada di sini adalah kita panggil harga uh, ataupun value rights on or the come right price. Okay, di sini. Right? Dan, uh, we also, uh, the formula is uh, market price. Minus SP, subscription price, bahagi dengan divide by number of right and then you have to plus 1. So, plus 1 ni kekal. So, that is the formula lah. N tambah 1 kat bawah ni uh, kekal eh. Tidak berubah lah. Okay, that is the formula. Okay, if you want to have the come right price ataupun right on. Normally, in the question, it will mention sama ada dia nak right on ataupun Uh, bukan. Okay, dia akan mention. Uh, so, if it's mentioned rights on, so this is the formula that you have to use. And we also have X right price, iaitu PEX. Okay, in your textbook, you can refer this one as PEX. PEX. Okay, X right price. The formula is market price times N. Okay, and plus uh, the S or SP. Subscription price divide by N tambah 1 again. Okay, sekali lagi N tambah 1 di sini. Okay. Itu untuk formula for the uh, X right price. X right price adalah formula untuk harga selepas right issue. Okay, harga untuk selepas right issue dengan anggapan semuanya dibeli oleh existing shareholder tadi iaitu kalau kita tengok timeline-nya adalah di sini tadi. Uh, at, uh, start from the X right date. Okay. So, that is the price for uh, harga untuk uh, X right price. Okay. And we also have a formula for number of shares to be sold. Ataupun uh, you can call it as a number, okay, number of new Okay, new shares. Jumlah share yang baru. So, what uh, what is the formula? Kita ambil funds needed. Berapa fund yang diperlukan oleh company untuk risk uh, the funds. And then, we have to divide by the subscription price. In your thought, in your textbook, it is mentioned fund needed as IO. Sama sahaja. Okay, IO. The initial outlay the the needed uh, the needed uh, fund for the company and then divide by the subscription price okay we also have another formula uh, 
I will let you know in another video. Thank you.